So I uh, just want to start us off with your thoughts on the game. Yeah, I mean, I that's a hard one. I, I mean, we got a point out of it, but I don't think that we played the way that we know how to play. Um, I think we lost a little bit of our identity and to do that and to still come away at the point is, you know, it says a lot about the team and what we're willing to do for each other. But at the same time, we know that we can be better and play together better as a team. And I think we just, we have a lot to learn from this game. Can you tell us about your guest here at the press conference? Yeah, this is Paris, um, KK's daughter. And she's just been kind of hanging out with me, learning the ropes because she is going to be a thorn one day. And yeah, she's got to practice her media. So she probably won't say anything <laughs> right now, but it's the, it's the experience that matters. <laughs> uh, can you talk us through your goals today? What you saw? Yeah. Um, the first one, I think I just, I saw that little opening. Like I knew the defenders were kind of running with me in one direction and I decided to go against the grain and, and take that touch and that, you know, nine times out of 10 is going to work because the defender doesn't have momentum. And then, yeah, just try to stay calm in front of the goal and place it. And then the second one, same kind of thing, try to stay calm, um, not panic. Um, and and uh, yeah, just just find the back of the net. I knew the second one was a really important goal because we were tied and, you know, we had to figure out a way to win. Unfortunately, we gave up one a little bit after that. But yeah, ultimately, I mean, the goals came from great play by my teammates. And yep. Um, the second goal in particular, you took an amazing pass from Olivia. Can you kind of tell us a little bit about how Olivia is making her way in her second year in the league? Yeah, I mean, I'm so proud of Liv. She's just, you know, taken on her role really well. She plays with confidence every chance that she gets. Um, and she, you know, she doesn't come on the field and play her age. She plays way older than that. Like she's, I mean, she has been in the league for a while now, but I'm just really proud of her and the growth that she's had. And I think that she will only continue to get better. And yeah, for her to find that pass and wait it like that, you know, it's not a simple thing to do, even if it may look simple. So awesome from her um, and, and just excited for, you know, her to keep growing and, and getting better. How can you explain your the, the atmosphere after your goals? And is, is that something you can enjoy for a few seconds, uh, your feelings? Or... Yeah, I definitely try to enjoy the feeling after I score. I mean, this is the best stadium to play in. It's the best fans in the world. So I take that in. You know, I, I feel each and every person in the stadium. And it's just an amazing feeling and one that I want to feel for the rest of my life. So yeah, I mean, every time I get to score, any, any of my teammates score, you just feel everyone in the stadium and it's it's the best feeling. And I would hate to be an opponent when that happens. Anybody else in the room? Paloma? Do you want to say something? Paloma, um, <laughs> online? I'm not online. Can Paris say bye? Can say bye? Say bye. Say it right here. Bye. Say bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye. Can you say, I love Sophie? <laughs> <laughs> all right all right we'll wrap on that one thanks so Thank